I heard y'all loud and clear. Y'all want more keto-friendly, healthy options at Sam's Club. Let's get it. Work it, make it, do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. I haven't been in here in forever, and I don't have the boys. This may be dangerous. Nothing food related, but dang, look at the Christmas display, Sam's. So we thought Costco had it going on. I don't know, Sam's might have Costco beat. Look at this pre-lit vintage train. How cute is that? But $200, Lord of mercy. Also got these really cute signs. These are $40 and they're really nice quality. They're huge. But man, the Christmas stuff, Sam's. Sam's has it going on, y'all, I have to say. Get your Christmas stuff. Look at these floor mats, $15, and they're humongous. So vinyl back. Ooh, they have a red car, home for the holidays. I have one already, but y'all, really, really awesome stuff. I am kind of shook by Sam's right now. I mean, I think they're a little bit more pricier than Costco with their decorations. Y'all let me know what you think. I haven't been to Sam's in forever to compare, but they have some really cool stuff. So not keto, but good to see that they do sell the Simply version. Y'all know I used to get these all the time for Trey, and that comes with the Cheetos, the Doritos, and the sea salted chips, and you get 30 in there for $11.48. They used to not sell these in club back in the day when I was buying these. So that's a nice option if you're just doing like healthy versus the regular garbage. They also have the baked option 230 with all these flavors for 1338. I want to stress these are still not good for you, not good at all. Um, but I it's the lesser of two evils, right? So you're gonna get this versus the real. That's the better of the two options. Got this whole earth, they're 398 garden medley tortilla chips, limited edition, so they're not gonna have them all the time at Sam's. This is um one pound. You think they're good, but the first ingredient, well, the second is vegetable oil. So you really don't want vegetable oil in your chip. You want it to be expeller pressed like sunflower oil or avocado oil or something like that. So, I mean, it's better. I want to say it's better than some of the options that you would choose, but it's still not good. They make it look so good, but it's still not. So this would be a better option than the one I just showed you. This is 448 for organic red quinoa chips. And it's still not expeller pressed, but everything's organic at least which the other one was not and it's got the same exact macros pretty much so if you're going to choose one of the two i would choose this one and pay a dollar more and the grand prize in the chip aisle goes to on the border ah everybody's cheering organic traditional style blue corn y'all this is where it's at this is what i'm talking about only three ingredients, expeller pressed oil. Now it doesn't tell us what kind of oil it is, but it doesn't matter because it's expeller pressed. So it's not just stripping all the good stuff away and leaving us with the bad, it is good. Sea salt and corn, that is it. This is what you want. I can't tell you the price, the price tag is MIA, but the girl's picking some up because I've been buying ones like this and this is amazing. So yeah, if you can find these at your Sam's, get this versus the regular and you're doing good. This is a good one. Y'all wanna know why the US is obese? This, temptation, everywhere. I mean, Krispy Kreme, shut up. Most of y'all know I'm a big advocate for Skinny Pop. Trey loves it. Try to get the organic if you can because it's made with expeller pressed oil. This is not, so it's it's better than regular popcorn. And I like the fact at Sam's they have this variety pack. They don't they only have the one flavor and it's not organic at Costco. This one comes with the sweet and salty and the white cheddar, which Trey really loves. You get 12 of each, so it is 36 bags for $12.98. That's pretty awesome. I think it's more expensive for the one flavor at Costco. I could be wrong, but I think you get let um, I don't know. No, might be more bags that's a pretty good price and they also have them in the big bags as well and just the plain regular skinny pop too for the same price $12.98 if you don't want the variety pack but anytime you can get organic get that because it's made with expeller pressed oil everybody thinks veggie straws are the way to go I used to think the same thing guys negative do not get them $12.98 all right and you get 36 look at the slew of ingredients I mean, it does have expeller pressed canola oil. Win for that. But they've got cane sugar in here, maltodextrin. Why do we have all that crap in a veggie straw? I don't understand. So you might as well just give your kids like a regular Dorito, in my opinion, versus this because it's got maltodextrin and like sh it's sugar. Like what the actual heck? Another no-no, Popcorners Flex Energy Packed Protein Crisp. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that and it's gonna be beast mode. 10.98. 
and look at the ingredients soy protein tapioca cassava topical seasoning sugar and maltodextrin oh lord somebody in trouble skip on this crap like why did they make crap look so good for us and it's so bad so bad skip it so this is something not terrible creative snacks company organic coconut bites they have something similar at costco chia seeds sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds and the ingredients all organic stuff no added stuff so that's good it does have some organic cane sugar always right there's the macros so not terrible if you need like a crunchy snack and it is $7.98 something else they make look appealing true north almond pecan cashew almond pecan crunch lightly sweetened okay we're lightly sweetened with brown rice syrup and organic sugar hex to the no guys pass on this like why why sam's club and other companies why 9.98 like all this aisle is supposed to like look healthy but it's not read your labels y'all read the labels another example of how something looks really awesome from the packaging so these p3 portable protein packs which by the way this brand does make some good low carb healthy options that are refrigerated okay this is just like shelf stable and this comes with what peanuts sunflower kernels and ham jerky but it's maple glaze honey roasted peanuts 6.98 for a six pack if we look at the ingredients here we've got a ton of carbs we've got a ton of sugar and bad ingredients all the way yeah we don't want this it looks good protein packed yeah it's gonna be awesome for you but it's not read the labels finally something halfway decent so these are pickle in a pouch by van holton they have these at the dollar tree as well so you get 12 for 7.98 so this is a better price than dollar tree that i showed you on that video but the ingredients they do have some natural flavorings we can't stay away that for away from that all the time y'all so this is not a bad option if you like these pickle pouches on the go cheaper than the dt beef jerky jack links original beef sticks we got one carb but it does have sugar it does have sugar and not the best ingredients it's 12.98 for a 12 count so even worse when you get to the tender bites and the teriyaki and all the flavorings look at the carb count on there and the ingredients not good 14.98 for a nine pack skip it so basically i've looked at all these and rather than showing to you one by one skip jack links is not good added sugars everywhere it makes you think you're just getting beef jerky but they're just loading the sugar on do sell the dukes here which is 10.98 for a three pack not bad carb count's not bad either it's just you want to try to get the ones you can find without sugar and this one does have sugar if you've been eating the dukes and you love it you might not have known that they got this dude being all loud and cray okay so just ignore him because i can't wait all day for him to get done talking but they got these members marks i love these guys these are the fried pork rinds the original flavor there's the ingredients it's just pork skins and salt and they don't have the big tub like this at my costco so i really enjoy getting them here for 5.98 for a 16 ounce you can't beat it so pretty much stay away from all the fruit snacks it's all loaded with sugar this caught my eye because y'all know i get the annie's package at costco this is the annie's cookie bites and the ingredients are all organic it is made with expeller press sunflower oil which is nice however it's still just a cookie and it's still just sugar y'all so there it is right there so nine sugars for a packet i mean it's not the end of the world but it's not the best thing either so if you get these it's a 36 count for 13.98 just limit your kids like they can only have like one a day or maybe one every other day something like that so i mean it's better than obviously the other stuff over there but still not something they can like go crazy on now they have these at costco as well this is stretch island fruit leathers it's 11.97 for a 48 count if your kids like the little fruit leathers like this there's zero added sugars it's all just the actual fruit However, some of them have natural flavoring, so we're trying to steer away from, away from those, but we can't all the time, guys. I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty hard. Everything's got damn natural flavorings in it, so some of them don't, but I think this is definitely the best option that you're going to get as far as a fruit snack for sure, and they have these at Costco as well. So prime example, I would get the Stretch Island over this, the Annie's fruit snacks. The 42 count is $14.98, so look at the ingredients. There's 11 sugars per pouch, and I don't know about y'all, but we only need like 10 of these in a day add that up the amount of sugar incredible and it is just sugar yeah it's organic but it's still damn sugar guys pass on this and instead of having all that added crap 
get this where it's just fruit. I don't care if it's got the natural flavorings, that's still a better option. Also a good option, 20 pouches of the freeze dried sliced fruit. You get strawberry banana, tropical, and Fuji apple. And these are $13.98 for a 20 count. And as far as ingredients, there are no added sugar. So it's just the actual fruit and it's just freeze dried. So you are getting just the fruit here, which is nice. No added artificial stuff. This is a good one. I get a ton of questions about these Fiber One brownies. I don't think they're terrible, but they're not gonna be my first choice. So they are five net carbs, 70 calories, 11.98 for 40 of them. That's an awesome deal here versus buying them in store. But the ingredients, guys, are not that great. It's got vegetable glycerin, canola oil, palm oil. I mean, all of the excess oils they have is unreal. So, I mean, eh, it's not the best thing, but it's definitely better than others. So we got to pick our battles sometimes, right? Nuts, good options. Whole almonds by Blue Diamond, $12.98 for 40 ounces. We got the lightly salted, $12.98 as well. Then you've got some dry roasted sea salt pistachios, $15.98 for a 48 ounce. Then you got the wonderful brand, which is the same price, but it's only 24 ounces. And are those shelled? Yep, those are already shelled. And the ones that are in the shell are $16.98 for 48 ounces. So pretty good nut options here, same as Costco. Look in the baking aisle though. We're gonna go over there and see if we can find some better stuff. The Members Mark Extra Large Virginia Peanuts aren't bad, $4.28 for almost 35 ounces. However, I mean, why did we have to add the peanut oil? Why couldn't it just be peanuts and sea salt? I think the one at Costco like this is just peanuts and sea salt, so I would opt for that one versus this one. However, they do have the Hampton Farms huge bag, guys. This is five pounds for $5.88. That's a remarkable deal. These are amazing, so tasty, so good. If you like a peanut in the shell, there are the macros right there, pretty much on point, and it's just peanuts and salt. Yes, indeed. They have this as co at Costco as well. This is the Thai Kitchen Coconut Milk Unsweetened. Six cans for $8.96. As far as macros here, it is on point, just coconut water in a guar gum, but one carb for a third of a cup. Same as Costco. I'm not sure if Costco's price, but they got it here too. They do have almond flour, three pounds here at Sam's. The Blue Diamond brand is what they have. Costco has its own brand and it is cheaper for the same poundage. And I will tell y'all, I used to buy this all the time in the beginning of my keto journey and I like Costco's brand better. So if you have a Costco, I highly suggest it versus the Blue Diamond, but it'll do nonetheless and it's cheaper than buying it at Whole Foods. They do carry the Protein 20 water here. It's on an additional savings for $14.98 for 12 bottles. That's a pretty good deal. However, my thing with them is that it has natural flavorings and like the Red 40, the blue one it is flavored with sucralose which y'all know i don't mind but mm, i don't know i wish it didn't have that other like junk in it but only one carb for these two flavors zero for the mixed berry so if you don't mind that not bad they have these orgain protein bars i guess this is a knockoff to the whatchamacallit bars it tells you what's exactly on the front and they're 1988 for 12 bars it's all organic stuff. Um, it does have natural flavors, just like the other brands, so I would pass. One cool thing about Sam's is they do sell the Quest Bars. You get 14 Quest Bars for $20.88. It's an awesome deal. It's $1.50 a bar. You can't even get that at Big Lots when we've gotten the deals. But the only thing is that they only come in chocolate chip cookie dough and cookies and cream, which my boys aren't a huge fan of. I wish they'd have some like the like specialty flavors, but you know, you can't be picky. But if you like Quest Bars, that's an awesome price. Another pretty cool thing is they sell the Bulletproof brand bars. This is the collagen protein bars and the chocolate chip cookie dough and the vanilla shortbread. I've never tried them myself. They are a little bit more higher carb than I would like. There's the net carbs right there, two sugars, but the ingredients are pretty spot on not bad in my opinion um, it's sweetened with stevia there's no natural flavors and it is 29.98 for 14 bars pretty pricey but i know the bulletproof brand is so speaking of that they also have the brain octane oil what the heck for 39.98 and also the collagen protein which is huge 26 ounces for 40 bucks not bad either if you need collagen in your life and i highly recommend perfect keto versus any of this stuff so i had to check these atkins bars out that say keto friendly right on the front so they are 1948 for 20 bars they're three net carbs let's look at the ingredients in them shall we so here's the ingredients we've got maltitol big no-no palm kernel oil so it's horrible horrible y'all do not pick this up yeah stuff that says keto friendly they're just trying to market on the you know the bandwagon 
horrible. Do not eat this stuff. The ingredients are so bad. They do carry Zip Fizz here. 30 tubes for this flavor combo. 20 for the Just the Fruit Punch for 19.98. It's a little bit less. I've heard a lot of people say this spikes their blood sugar and kicks them out of ketosis. Y'all let me know if it has that effect on you. I'm not going to ever drink this because I like the Bang, which has no carbs and has not affected me. This has carbs in it and affects people, so I stay clear of it. So they do have the organic apple cider vinegar with the mother, and it is only $4.96. It's on an instant savings right now. You get two of them. So same thing with Costco. So they have that option at Sam's too. Nice find. I haven't seen this. So they have the organic coconut oil, and it is cold pressed and unrefined for $9.88 for 56 ounces. Come on, Sam, stepping up your game. So this is definitely a good option. So yeah, go to the baking aisle for the nuts. So the natural pecan halves, two pounds, are going to be $12.96 and they are just pecans so yeah this is where you want to be with no like added oils they also have the shelled walnuts for $10.88 for 48 ounces then we've got some whole almonds down here 48 ounces for $11.93 they even have some pine nuts organic pine nuts $20.98 for 16 ounces but it's just organic pine nuts so if you're all about that life they've got that and they've got some salted almonds down there or sliced almonds excuse me 10.98 cashews you want to stay away from they are a little bit more in carbs and that is about it as far as nut options in the baking aisle but this is where you want to go to get the nuts just like with costco they have the real crumbled bacon same exact size and about the same price 9.92 but it's on an additional savings right now it does have a little sugar in there just like the costco one nothing to fret about guys that is a good buy and they also have the parmesan crisps which i'm not a big fan of like parmesan or the cheese crisps to be honest this is not even 10 ounces and it's ten dollars for 100% Parmesan cheese though. So I mean, that's all you're getting. If you like that crunch and you want like something to utilize as a cracker for like your tuna fish and stuff, that's a good option as well. Pickles for days, always a good keto snack. Oh snap, let's go Sam's Club. They got the Rayos. They don't even have the Rayos at Costco. I'm a little shook by this because as y'all know, Costco's out of my way, Sam's is not. I do not see a price for it, but it is a two pack and it's 22 ounces for the marinara sauce. I would be eager to know how much that is. It doesn't say anywhere, and it looks like it's brand new. I am so shook by this. Dang, Sam's Club. So a little bit dirty keto, but I know some of you like this. So it's $4.92. It's got a little instant savings going on for a three-pack. I mean, that's a phenomenal price. But as far as the ingredients go, I mean, it's got water, heavy cream, butter, which we want to see, Parmesan uh, cheese. But then you get down and you start getting some, like, cornstarch and stuff. Not terrible. It's got natural flavorings. If you want something on the go cheap quick dinner that's not terrible so they also have the chicken chunk breast like costco does it's on an additional savings right now you can get a six pack for 9.28 and it's basically just the same thing as the costco one which i love however if you don't want to get the little cans they got this big old 50 ounce can that you can get for 7.98 so like if you're making like one dish and you don't need a bunch of little cans that's kind of smart. Tuna fish, always a good option. $9.48 for the Sam's brand for $12. $9.88 for the Star Kiss brand for $12. So just pennies difference. Pretty cool is the lemon pepper tuna pouches. So you get 10 of them for $9.58. So that is a really good deal. That's less than Dollar Tree. And as far as the ingredients go, I mean, not horrible. And I know some of y'all really like these for on-the-go lunches. So I've never seen these at Costco. So that's a pretty good find. They also have them in the regular pouches too, y'all, for the same price. $9.58, 10 pack. A good find on their creamy almond butter. It's not organic, but it is on an additional savings. It's $6.98 right now. But it's only dry roasted almonds and salt. And that is for 24 ounces. Not bad. So they have the 45 count of the applesauce here. It's $8.97. It's on a dollar additional savings. This is the Sam's Club brand. Apples and the acid. I think it's the same thing at Costco. Y'all let me know. I think the ones at Costco maybe are organic. I'm not sure, but it's about the same price. Y'all know I used to buy these for the boys. The Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. 24 for $7.88. It is a killer deal, but the ingredients no bueno so it's got cane sugar i mean just sugar for days canola oil why are we adding oil in there i don't know but the sugar counts 10 for one these bars are small pass this was what i was thinking of rx bars earlier so there's 1778 here for 14 bars pass on those they have natural flavors for the price but the lara bars guys are just all ingredients so it's just like peanuts and chocolate 
they're really high in carbs, but for your kids, this is the one you wanna choose, and it's $13.98 for 20, so it's cheaper and better. Coffee, always keto friendly, except for certain ones, guys. Check the flavoring, sometimes they can get cray and have carbs in them. Guys, that pecan praline is bomb. $24.98 for the community for 54 cups. Pretty good deal. Y'all asked me about Truvia. 400 packets, $12.98. The ingredients are erythritol, stevia, natural flavors. If it didn't have the natural flavors, I would give it 100%. Um, you can buy just straight up stevia or erythritol without the natural flavors. But, I mean, if you're in a pinch and you only have a Sam's Club and you want a better option, it's better than buying this garbage. So from what y'all tell me, they sell Bang at Sam's. They don't sell it in my club. They sell it online and they can ship it to my house for cheaper than what I buy it in stores. So I'm thinking about doing that. But they do have the Monster Zeros here and it's 24 packs for $33.98 if you like the Monster versus the Bang. Y'all let me know if your Sam's Club sells pasture-raised eggs. That's one of the main reasons why I switched to Costco is because their eggs are just organic or free-range or cage-free, which means absolutely nothing. They do have heavy whipping cream for $3.18 it's not organic and because it's got carrageenan in it so I would pass on this I know a lot of people use it guys but if you can try to get organic get it because it usually doesn't have that they do have almond milk unsweetened 30 calories and it is the two pack for five dollars and 48 cents that's really awesome for this and it is like less than a carb for a cup and it's not organic though is the only thing but that's okay it's still a good option thing my Costco doesn't have that I love Sam's Club has is the six pack of the full fat Philadelphia cream cheese for $9.48. Mine doesn't even have the big brick at Costco. I know some of y'all's does so that's an awesome deal. Get that versus the cheaper Sam's Club brand because it's got more carbs in it and they also have the Daisy sour cream for $4.11 but it's like $3.98 at Costco so better buy there. So limited time only. I love this bacon guys. It doesn't have any added crap to it. If you can't get like some bougie bacon Bacon. get this is the next best thing and it is 1438 holidays are coming up I love me some little smokies don't y'all three pounds 828 and it's two carbs for five lengths not terrible if you put it in some like sugar-free barbecue sauce you all know we're gonna be a little bit more carbier on the holidays and at parties so this is definitely a better option than going like ape on something else I am so stoked to see this because I've been looking for this everywhere. It's the Chef Chamois Garlic Butter, and this is 10 ounces for $6.97. I can't find it anywhere. It looks like they have a regular one and one with onion and Asiago, but I don't see that one. But I'll take this one because I've been looking. They do have the light and fit cups here. Waylon loves these Greek ones, $12.98 for $18. However, the flavors at Costco are way better. He would not like these flavors. So... Uh, better choice at Costco for us. A brand I don't hear a lot of people talk about is Manda. So it does have some dextrose in it, but it's four pounds for $11.78, and it's only one carb for two ounces. I don't think that's terrible, and this sausage is pretty good if you haven't tried it. These turkey sausage sticks are $7.52, no, I lie, $12.98, wowzas. And they only have a one net carb, but they have some questionable ingredients and carrageenan. So I would pass. Can't ever go wrong with some string cheese. I think they're one net carb, a stick. We get these from Costco as well, 1048. Costco's cheese is cheaper. It's 498, I think, for the same poundage and same carbs and everything. But if you're here and you only have a Sam's membership, you want to get the block versus the bags because the bags are filled with potato starch and more carbier. Wild caught marinated salmon, $14.55, um, pass. It's four net carbs for a filet and it's got a bunch of added oils. So here's the salmon you wanna get, the Atlantic salmon. If you're gonna pick one, get this one. It's $22.98 for two and a half pounds. Seems kind of pricey, but it's zero carbs unlike the other and there's the ingredients. So this is a nice little find, zucchini and yellow squash spirals. They are $10.98 for 42 ounce. However, I wish they were in individual bags because it's just one big bag that you take out but it's legit just zucchini and squash and the macros on it are two net carbs for two nests. I guess a little bitty nest like this. Oh, okay, cool. Another nice option, they do have rice cauliflower. You get four 12 ounce steamable bags for $7.98. And it looks like that. And I have tried it before and it's good. Costco, they have the broccoli florets. You get four one pound bags for $6.48. But I want to say Costco is organic. Y'all let me know. The extra fine green beans, five 16 ounce bags for $6.98. It's also a good option here at Sam's Club. I think they have these at Costco as well. That's a good deal. They do have these Jimmy Dean sandwich delights, egg witches that have no bread, $9.98 for an eight count. And they are just six net carbs for a sandwich, but guys, they have maltodextrin and a bunch of other bad stuff in it. If you don't mind that, live your best life, but I would pass. 
So make sure you check the labels on the bags. I've learned this the hard way, but these Sam's Club Mesquite Grilled Chicken Fillets, they're zero carbs, it looks great. 11.98 for three pounds, but it's got maltodextrin in it. Why did they do that? Oh, not horrible are these steakies, the thin sliced sirloin steak strips. You get 12 sliced beef steaks for 11.98. As far as ingredients, it's one carb for one piece, and it does have a little dextrose. Oh snap, they carry my favorite burger here at Sam's Club, and they're $13.46. That's about how much they are at Costco. And I would opt for these versus the uh, Sam's Club ones down there with the bacon and stuff. They have a slew of ingredients, um, but I love these, y'all. You know it. They've also got turkey burgers, four pounds for $11.48. Not bad. Chop House steak burgers. They've got the real burgers, not the charbroiled ones, guys. So they have same and similar options to Costco when it comes to your meats. I know a lot of y'all like the bubbly. I personally don't, but this is a 24 pack for $7.88. I don't think they have the bubbly up at the Costco. So again, it's crazy how it varies with things at the Costco versus Sam's Club. Got the sparkling ice here, 24 account, $14.64. I think it's more expensive here than it is at Costco. However, one thing they have here they don't have at my Costco is the Powerade and the Gatorade Zero versions. They just have the regular. I love the Powerade Zero. The Gatorade has a little bit more carbs, but this is the 20 pack for $12.48. You cannot beat that. That's incredible. 52 cents for each one. So y'all been telling me to buy these Hint Waters. You get watermelon, blackberry, pineapple. They're just flavored waters, but they do have natural flavoring. So if you're not a fan of that, 15 of them for $11.98. If you've already been buying them, it might be cheaper here. So they've got really good prices on their produce, mushrooms, like fresh green beans. I always find that their produce prices are pretty spot on here at Sam's. They've got asparagus over here, two pounds for $5.45. And their lettuce, like the big bag of lettuce is the best price ever. Their broccoli florets, I mean, it's huge. Two pounds, $3.38. I mean, you cannot beat that price. These peppas are gorgeous. I just paid like $4 for three and I could have got six for $5.58. Yeah, definitely really awesome deals on produce. Their produce always looks better to me here than Costco, I will admit. And don't forget that salad, Romay Hearts, six count, 366. And then they also have the organic baby spinach for 378. So never pass up on the salads. I got questions about their pulled chicken, 997. It's got two carbs in it. Mm, because it's got potato starch added to it. Why are we adding potato starch to chicken? Like, I don't understand some of these things, y'all. And then this is their pulled pork. Y'all know I like the one from Costco. It's $8.97 right now. And this one, ingredients, good. So this is approved. So y'all know I like those chicken meatballs from Costco. And I'm shook by this, y'all. So cage-free chicken. It's $11.69, so I think it's cheaper than the ones at Costco. The ingredients are right there. It's not terrible from what I can see. It's got a little vegetable at the very bottom, not worried. But one net carb for three meatballs. Guys, I think this is an amazing buy right here. If you want some convenience in your life, ingredients aren't bad, carb count's pretty good, thumbs up. So thumbs up for this country pleasing brand, green onion smoked sausage. It's one carb for a link, $9.98. The kielbasa here, everybody raves about it. It is $13.98. For one net, net carb per link, not bad either. So they used to not have good sausage options at Sam's, and now they do. Got some good cheese option, the Kerry Gold right there. And they also have a bunch of the Tillamook cheeses too, all the different flavors for about eight, nine bucks. They've got the Dilly Bites. Um, these are the 2.8 pounds for $8.98. That's a good keto snack option. More string cheese over here, Sargento. These are Havarti and Gouda I have before it's really good you get 24 in here for 7.98 a zero card plenty of the baby bill option for ten nine dollars and then they also have these panino hard salamis wrapped around the mozzarella cheese for one net carb for one of them it's got a little bit of like natural wine and dextrose 6.98 these look cute members mark jack snack cheeses and you get 26 in there for 7.48 and as far as carbs zero good ingredients Booyah. If you don't have an instant pot and you're lazy, they do have you hooked up with the boiled eggs. You get 12, you get 24 for 7.48. So their sirloins are about the same price as Costco when I bought them last time. Beautiful. You get six in there for 20 bucks. Very, very comparable to what I paid at Costco. Really good price on these pork chops. So you get six of them in there for 3.92. 
that's really nice and they're really thick cut. Another awesome find are these kielbasa smoked sausages, breakfast sausage links, guys. They are two links for one net carb. All right, not bad, $8.74. I do have the Dave's Killer Bread, $7.84. I think it's cheaper at Costco for a two pack. And they do have the Dave's Killer Bread Bagels, five count, four eighteen. Real quick, I want to show you what I picked up. So, of course, I got the Powerade Zero because I can't find it at Costco. And it's a hell of a deal and we love it. Y'all know I got that because I've been looking for it. Now, this, I want to show you guys. This is like for Halloween. This is the Utz Cheese Balls. There's 60 of them. I got this for like Waylon or Trey's class. And then for the little get-together we're having because it's only three carbs for a bag. Yes, it's got maltodextrin and a couple of other bad things in it, but I got it for the classes versus some other bad options we could get and load them up on. I don't know. It was like an impulse thing. And then, of course, I got those because they're amazing and those as well. Out of Sam's Club. What did you guys think? Comment down below. It's been a while since I've been in there. They've definitely gotten some better options since I signed up for Costco. However, these are my final thoughts about the Sam's Club. There are some good things in there. If I didn't have a Costco in driving range, we could definitely make it work. There's just not the good organic healthy stuff. It doesn't have to be keto in there yet. They don't have a lot of organic options at all as you've seen and the stuff that is organic or is like supposed to be healthy is utter crap. So I wish they would step up, step up their game with getting a little bit better product in there, maybe some better brands like Costco does and that would make it more appealing to keep the membership and just stay here versus going to Costco. I think they are. I mean they had the Rayos in there which is very impressive. It looked brand new, not even a tag yet for it. So I think they are trying to step up their game with getting better healthy options and keto friendly organic options. It's just not there 100%. Is it better from the last time I came in here? Hex to the yes. They had a lot of good sausage options, what they never had. The pulled pork is good, just like Costco. They have the hamburgers I love. So I'm really happy to see that. I think I will still make the drive to Costco because there are a lot of good things for the boys, snacks and stuff, organic stuff and healthier snacks there that I need to stock up on. But I could definitely get by here. I mean, honestly, if I had to choose one and if I didn't want to drive, we could definitely do Sam's Club and make it work as far as keto and healthy and, you know, just stay away from some of those bad things. So if all you have is a Sam's Club, and I know a lot of you do, that's why I'm making this video, you can do it at Sam's Club. Look at the things that I showed you that were good, steer away from the things that I said were bad, and just make your own judgment with looking at labels and seeing if it fits you and your family's lifestyle and your health journey and for your kiddos. And you can definitely do it here. The prices are only pennies away from each other as far as the same exact items I find here. There are some flavored things here that are different at Costco, and that's just going to be everywhere as far as different stores. So you just make your judgment. Do I give Sam's Club a thumbs up for healthy keto approved options? We can do it. We can do it. It might not be as easy as walking up in the Costco, but you can definitely do it. You just have to have your eyes open and make sure that you're not picking up the wrong things and purchasing the wrong things with the wrong ingredients and that type of thing. But it can definitely be done. And I was very shook. I was very surprised by Sam's Club. I think I mentioned that many times in the video. So if you enjoyed this walkthrough of Sam's Club on what to stay away from, what to keep as far as healthy, keto, low carb, low sugar, please give this video a huge thumbs up. If you know somebody is looking to start their health journey and all they have is a Sam's Club, please give it a huge share with them. That helps the video so much. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more content from me, I'd love to have you a part of the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure all your notifications are clicked so you don't miss an upload from me. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Y'all were screaming at me that you wanted to see Sam's Club options. So I hope it was helpful. That's exactly why I came here for. And if it was, please let me know in the comments down below what you're looking for to finding at your Sam's Club that I showcased here in the video and I will see y'all in the next one and let me know where you want to see next if I've got it I will try to do a video on what's healthy approved at the next store love you guys bye